upkeep. Gain two. You should be dead by now. He should be dead by now. Who? You. You. Why? Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. This is episode 7 of Commander Madness. I'm your host, Urza. And I'm Mishra. And we are about halfway through our first season, where we take the top 50 most popular commanders, battle it out, and see who's the best. That's right, Urza. Each of our players chose four from the top 50 commanders off of the EDH Rec website. Each week, the players will play a high power game using a different commander until all have been played at least once. Each player will then choose one of the four commanders that they've chosen to compete in the finals. So join us for some high power battles with your favorite commanders here at Commander Madness. Dominaria wouldn't be the same without our great supporters, TCG Player and Dragon Shield. So use our links the next time you buy cards or sleeves online. No matter what side of the battle you're on, you're always a winner when you become a Kingdom's patron. Our CDH tournament is happening in the next couple weeks, so make sure to join the Patreon if you want to play. Check it out at patreon.com slash kingdoms tv. Hi, I'm Bryce. I'm going to be playing Aloro. It says Ageless Ascetic. Is That's that right. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. so I'm just going to be about gaining that life, making them lose life, you know. Life is a mystery. Hey everybody, I'm John. I'm playing Edgar Markov, uh, Vampires. You cast Edgar, it makes vampires good. Usually don't cast Edgar, and he makes vampires good. <laughs> yep. I'm Jeff. I'm playing... Prosper Tonebound. Um, this was my favorite commander from two years ago. Love this commander. Great value engine. Um, we're looking to just kind of play Prosper, create some value, hopefully slow the board down with some stacks pieces, and just grind out for a win. Hey everybody, Carlos here, and I'm playing a niv Mizzet Payroon. So it has a couple of things like Charisma and Sigil of Sleep to uh, make the pinging that niv Mizzet does a little more interesting. It's about to get shocking in here. Yeah. yeah. Untap upkeep, so at the beginning of my upkeep, because or Laura was in my can zone, I will gain two life, and then I will draw. Ew. Um, planes and pass. All right, draw. Uh, path of Ancestry, pass. <laughs> I will draw. Uh, I will play a Bloodstained Mire. I will sack and crack that, lose one life, and I am just going to go get a Swamp. And pass and say go. Draw a card. Just drew Mox Diamond. Blue, stop jangling. <laughs> Lotus Field, discard to Mox Diamond. I will also Prismatic Vista for a, an island. And I will pass the turn after that. Oh, have you lose the life? Thank you. And then I tap upkeep, trigger Laurel, gain two. Draw a card. Ten. Yeah, ten. He, he's the back guy. He's I'm going to play a swamp. So oh, Talisman of Progress. Pass the turn. Okay, tap and draw. We're gonna go with a wooded foothills and crack it for a badlands. <laughs> old buddy, old pal. I will cast a cordial vampire and oh, make a token, and I'll scry. Cordial vampire is so oh. good. And cut me. Okay. Great. No, we don't cut. What are oh, you doing? right. Sorry. I just. <laughs> All right, go ahead. That's your why turn. Asked us to cut. That's why I don't. Vampire tutor. Vamp. Uh, uh, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to put this card on top. I will go to my turn. I will untap. I will draw. I will play a mountain. And then I will play Sensei's Divine Top. Boo. Hey, how many of those Planeswalkers on your shirt are completed now? I have a response. Many. Yo! Out of here, Top. That's a combo piece, right? It is a combo piece. I'm not upset. Yeah, you're, uh, you're fine. And I will draw. You know, when you get a chance to do turn one counter spell, you got to take it. Pass the turn. On top of keep gain your life. Draw. I will play the Stolta Champions. Okay. I'm going to lose a life from that, tapping for blue. Yep. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. All right. We got at least a turn, right? It's, it's, it by itself is not the problem. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> because just a second commander. I'm just going to say, I mean, I, I played the deck and... Swamp. Uh, captivating Vampire. Make Dang. a Vampire oh. and Spry. That Captivating Vampire will be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do anything about it. Sick. All right. I'll attack Bryce with a vampire token. And I will attack Carlos with a cordial vampire. It's not flying. It is not flying. It's a one. I will. Sounds good. Okay. 
I don't know, all my vampires. Curse you. Take the damage. I can't keep mine. It's so much more damage now. Well, God. For you guys. What? It's still bigger than Oh, sorry, it's two. It's, it's a two. two-two, by the it's way. It's a two-two. But I think Kay's has a three-four. Three-four, yeah. Yep. So it's fine. All right, go ahead. All right, those, that's a scary board. <laughs> It's a two drop and a three drop. My turn. Draw. <laughs> He's playing vampires. Do a board wipe and it's okay. Play a smoldering marsh. Go, Carlos. I do have a blasphemous act in here. Draw a card. Let's play a river glide pathway. On blue? On blue. Should have taken AC. Pass turn. Untap. Upkeep trigger. Gain two life. Yeah. Draw trigger. I lose. Draw and lose. Okay. Then I'll gain another life. Noted. And an island ever full and chalice with one counter on it. Mm-hmm. I tap that, this, and this to play a veto Thorn of the Dusk Rose. <laughs> oh, what? Carlos, you are up. I'm going to attack you for three. Is Zito a vampire? Uh, yeah. He looks like he's become more I, of a vampire. I am. What? <laughs> draw. To target opponent. It's whenever you gain life, right? Yeah. So yeah, he, he yeah, draws. Oh, no. Turn. He gets it. I know. He gives all his creatures lifelink. Uh-huh. Does that much damage. Crack tar. Makes someone lose that much life. Gains that much life. It's all bad. It's, it's all, all bad. Good. It's yeah. all bad. <laughs> Gonna go get a plateau. Right. Bloodline keeper. I guess. Oh. There it is. Uh, <laughs> make a vampire and scry. The trigger's on the stack. Yep. Tap this island for a blue mana. Target a captivating vampire with Pongify. You got it. When that dies, it's counter. Bones. Counter. I'm gonna respond to, to Carlos's. Uh-huh. Gosh. I'm gonna swift in your uh, cordial vampire though. Y'all are degenerates. All right. All right. So this all resolves. You get a no. You get a scry now. No, I get a scry. That's right. Y'all are meanie heads. Yeah, we are actually. I don't disagree with that. Yep. I will attack Carlos for three. And go ahead. Untap. Draw. I'm done. Go, Carlos. It's just funny because like these. It just I haven't done anything super powerful. I'm just playing like. Generic vampires. Let's play Chromatic Lantern. That's all I can do. Let's turn. On top. Upkeep. Gain two life. Veto triggers. John, lose two life. You're the worst. Draw a card. John, lose another life. And I gain a life and then lose another life. Okay. Four life a turn, man. That's. All right. That'll get him there eventually. All right. Noted. Only nine more turns to go. <laughs> I'm going to tap for can't, blue. Can't do that. Lose a life. Play a That's what I was afraid of. Mm-hmm. Look at the top three. <laughs> We're back in that order. What do card. you lose life? Yeah. I'll play an island. So black, black, colorless. Bra- braids. Assassin Nightmare. Now I'm going to go to combat. <laughs> can, I, can you read that, please? So at the beginning of my end step, I may sacrifice an artifact, creature, enchantment, land, or planeswalker. Mm-hmm. If you do, each opponent may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with it. For each opponent who doesn't, that player loses two life and I draw a card. I'm going to go to combat. Jeff with both of these. That's fair. Okay. Uh, it is four. four. I will go to my end step. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sacrifice this artifact to braid. So you each need to sacrifice an artifact or lose nope. two life. <laughs> so I draw three cards. Yep. yep. One, two... Three. All right, you done? Yep. All right, let's turn. Yeah, one fall would be great. All right, we're going to go with a Legion Lieutenant. Triggers, all fine. Yep. Nope. Those are some strong vampires. Go to combat. Full attack. Rice. Full squad. No blocks. Mm. 15. 15? Uh, yep. Are you going to transform? Do another Can't six? Right yeah, good. Yes, you can. He has five, I have vampires. five, five vampires. Very good. Sure. Why would you tell me to do that? Because it's a combat trick that I saw. That's why I didn't block mm-hmm. in the first place. And then these are four fours. So 23. 23. So I'll go down to <laughs> one, two. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Minus, minus four. Something oh, sickness. Sorry. sorry, my bad. <sighs> go ahead. <laughs> All right, my turn. Uh, I'm going to tap. Oh, nothing. Okay. Draw. What was that? It was a land. Oh, it's so good. You're looking at it so long. I know. I was just rejoicing for oh, a moment. Okay. <laughs> He's just crying. He's just just a little bit. Yeah, you did it. That's what I'm hoping to do. I'll just crack a land, crack a commander. All right, go. <clears throat> Y'all trigger your prosper. You need to. Oh, yeah. That's a sad land. Otawara. Woo! Sad. 
That's Rakdos Charm is an amazing bad. No, it's sad to play it. Oh, yeah. I love Rakdos Charm. Stop looking at me. <laughs> oh. I... We'll see what I do with it. I don't even... I might not... <laughs> All right. Do All right. Everyone has entered the battlefield. At least if I lose now... You made it. The two Eminence Commanders have not. The two Eminence Commanders are sitting on the sidelines. <laughs> no, no. They did. They entered. This they, doesn't have an ability called Eminence. They've entered the game. Yes, yeah, so it was before Eminence. Play a turn. On tap. Upkeep trigger off on the commander. Gain two life. Um, John lose two life. <laughs> Draw a card. Um, John lose life. Gain life I gain first. Life. And then John you lose another life. <sighs> I'm gonna play an island. So like, you know what I have now? I have a blocker. I a very, very lethal blocker. I will for a card called Authority of the Council. council. <laughs> Artifacts and creatures, right? Whenever yeah. a creature an opponent controls and enters the battlefield. One life per creature. One life per creature. Oh. For each opponent, right? Just opponents, yeah. Just, just opponents. I was getting life, just making sure. I will so tap this for colorless. Tap one of these and play a Felwar Stone. Mm -hmm. That's really pretty. Cool. Dan, nice. Dan's good Magic person. Summit, just another plug for it. Got it signed at Magic Summit, you know. Last turn. Okay, are you uh, braids things? Um, braids, trigger, I will sacrifice this talisman. Yeah. So, artifact. Draw for that. One, two, a three. How many cards in him? Seven. Yikes. <gasps> Alright, my turn? Jealous. A Perforos. Uh, which one's the Perforos? Is that the lose to life? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go to combat. And we're going to attack Bryce. The beginning of your combat. I'm right, play an Anguished on Making gotta... on your Lord of the Leech. Uh, all right, I'll tap and make a 2-2 two -two Vampire. With flying. To life. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'll take two. Yep. Uh, oh, because that... Yeah. You know what the absolute worst part is? Is that he has no other red, so it's not even a creature. In that <laughs> case, I will attack with a 4-4. Four, four. I will take 4. And that enters tapped, and I gain the life. Oh, yeah. That, that is a thing. And then you lose life. And then, yeah, you lose life. Uh, up target player. <laughs> <laughs> I just know where this is going. Yeah, so. okay, go ahead. <laughs> and, and did I take the 3 from the attack? That's uh, what four, four. 4. 4. 1, 2, 3. <laughs> so I'll untap. He's just gonna make us lose life to the draw. Creatures we have. I'm gonna start with three, and I'm gonna play Jessica as well. I keep forgetting about this. Yeah, you do. Anguished on making. You draw a card. You're gonna you do take life. a damage. Jessica as well. You take a damage. Okay. In response to Jessica well being cast, I'm gonna tap this for a white. Play in Lightning Tutor. Trigger no visit. Okay. You take a damage. And that one's artifact or enchantment. All right. This resolves though, right? How many cards? Six. Exile Demonic Tutor. Gross. Exile Reckless Impulse and Exile Professional Facebook. And I get five red mana. I think I'm just going to use them up pretty quickly here. I'm going to use the five red mana to first cast Professional Facebreaker. Uh -huh. I will do Bulls of Citadel. That's I'll get a treasure from Professional Facebreaker. From casting it, tr trigger is Comes in tapped. You gain a life. Yes. Oh, that's true. Who? Yeah. Uh, I gain a life. John will lose. A life. I think he just lost a life. That's nonsense, and yeah. All right, so you used three red mana? Yeah, three. So I'm gonna use the main two, cast Reckless Impulse, they'll trigger for you. For I'm gonna ping Kesa, see if we can get there. Vito's worse, if you ask All me. All right, Vito. You can convince me. Okay, I'm not trying to Reckless Impulse, you drew. I pinged and I drew. How many do you do off of Reckless Impulse? Two. Two. That's what was that? And Sonha. I also get another treasure by from cast Reckless Impulse. I'm gonna play Marsh Flats, and then I will lose a life, crack it. <laughs> And I'm just going to go get a Swamp, I think. Do you have to cast these this turn? No, these can actually go to my next turn. This has to get cast this turn still. I'm going to do this. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to play Demonic Tutor. Stick with Vito. Ping, Vito. Second ping on Vito. I am going to do the thing. Yeah, I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to use one treasure to get my red. And then cast Blasphemous Act. I just going to say you're so far behind. You, well, you can draw first. You can draw. It's, it's, it's cast trigger. Draw and ping. Yeah, I'll attempt a force. Well, I'll draw a card. Shoot draw. Vito. Vito takes three. And force of will. Awesome. Delay is exiled. And I'll trigger an visit. Any redirection? Yeah, I'll cast deflecting spot. Targeting. <laughs> the force of will? <laughs> Can't target itself. Targeting. I'll uh, draw a card. Yep. I'll and then you for one. Yeah. That's in one. your face. And in response to that, I will spend... I will cast Hurl Through Hell. 
What? And to pay for that, I will pay one treasure to play Dark Ritual. Dragon, ping me if you want. I'll two triggers. And then that. And I'll lose my last treasure. You have to pay the cost, though, first. Yep. Okay, cost paid, two triggers. Yep. I'll ping you again. I'm going to hurl through hell my commander. And ping you again. Two more damage. Okay. Just allows them to play it for. Last one's act resolves. And I'll exile Wait. my commander. Until the end of your next turn, you may cast that card. And, oh, he's to spend mana. Oh, okay. I can't do that. I will still. Well, I mean, he's still cheaper until your next yeah, turn. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You just have to cast it next turn. Yeah, yeah. Or you go to my. Yeah. Command well, it stays in no, exile. No, no, you have to. I'll cast it. I'll be yeah, fine. Yeah. I have mana for it, though. As long yeah. as you cast it, though, if anything happens to it, you can go to the command zone. Yeah. Yep. So untap, draw for turn. Cards. Yeah, I'm going to Faithless Looting first. Draw two. Just got two freaking lands because I have so many lands. Didn't get anything else, so now I can't use Faithless Looting. Hold Steelheart. Say blue. Uh, Pestern. Yeah. Untap. Discard lands to hand okay. size. Draw. Don't know what that's like. Yeah, me neither. Mm, play planes. Lorotur. Lorotur, yeah. It is not black. 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 And that. And play an underworld connections on this island. Tap the island to draw a card. Pass turn. All right. Untap and draw. A dark imposter. Miner's mm. battleful tap trigger. Make a vampire. And scry. Good. It's good. Uh, is whenever a creature enters the battlefield? Yeah. So everyone take four. So you got another one, right? Can you exile for six any creature? Yes. Great. Exile target creature. Cool. Game and we lost and four life. Now it takes four. And go ahead. <laughs> Don't regret what I did, but man, I am still playing from behind here. From the commander. You gain life. They come play tapped. These will fade off into exile, and I will also exile this into my next turn. Oh, sweet. Would it be? Oh, oh. land. Carl, it's your turn. All right, and to turn all cryptic commands, I'll bounce your vampire. Let you cast it again. Super exciting. Draw a card. Untap. Draw a card. Oh, play Minamo. School at Water's Edge. Let's me untap permanent, legendary permanence. Play a talisman of creativity. You've done it. You're creative. Fast list color. Faster. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. <laughs> John. <laughs> that guy exiles any commander for six mana. I'll play a swamp. Five for Psychosis Crawler. Oh my heavens. Woof. Then I will P to the T, pass the turn. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> Play planes. Oath Sworn Vampire. Trigger, trigger. Trigger. Hmm. Everyone take four. This is untapped. I have one untapped. Why is it on? Un oh, yeah. Because it's an from last turn. And then I'll recast Dark Imposter. Trigger. I'll gain two, and then I'll lose four. Everyone take four. Hmm. <clears throat> And then this here vampire is going to go attack Carlos, I guess, for one. All right, I will untap. Maybe even be less. And I will draw for my turn. <laughs> I will play a mountain and get a treasure. Yay! Play out a mayhem devil. Oh, nice trigger. Yep, trigger. Game life. With that, I will um, end my turn. Okay, on your to... second main phase? Yeah, second main. Yeah, yeah, second cyclonic main. Rift. Overload Cyclonic Rift? Yeah. Um, um, in response, I'm going to okay. tap this to draw a card and lose a life. Does that trigger deal? this? Each of you lose a life. Boop. I will sacrifice this because I can. I don't really have any other use for it. And I will deal one damage to John. Yeah. Okay, all these sads. This is my instep, step, right? No. So I can replay? Yes. If you yeah, but you only have three mana, right? Yeah. Well, he, he treasure floating. Oh, I do have mana floating. Yes. I replay Prosper. Tapped. Nope. Oh, no, tapped. Tap. Untapped. Mm. Mm. And then, end of turn, I will. I forgot. Exile Cabal Ritual. Scry. Yeah, I miscounted your mana. I meant to do it so you didn't have it. My turn? Yep, your turn. Draw for turn. Is it not? Is it island? <laughs> Five, six, Covians. Oh, everybody, everybody, oh, everybody. Your graveyard and your hand shuffle. Um, but I will respond to my own spell. Bounce this to your hand. The chain of vapor. Yeah, I won't. How many cards do we draw? Off of I'll go to McMahon's. Your uh, graveyard and your hand are shuffled in. Draw some cards. Prosper will go to the command zone. It's a new game at 
Ten life. This is great. <laughs> I'm very happy about this. Then you All right. Draw seven. Yeah. All right. Box open. But five mana for Guild Lotus. Holy mackerel mana. Do you have something to get rid of all artifacts? <laughs> Pass turn. <laughs> your turn. I'm going to... Well, that's, really, that's really low. We, we played that game. Pay two life. I'm going to get this card and put it on top. And draw a card. I will play another planes. Two white. A black. And then two other. For Liesa. Oh, whenever a player casts a spell, they lose two life. Oh, great. I did not. He did, he did not. He did not gain life. Tap those two to play uh, Fellow War Stone. Gave it right back. Those are two. Pass the turn. All right. I'm just so sad right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got a full hand. New hand. Yeah, by my eight life and with a uh, angel out there that taxes yeah. me for two for each spell. That's, really me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's two life. Two life. Yeah. <laughs> Arkansas. He's gonna lose to that that Crypt Trigger. He's gonna lose <laughs> He's gonna to be right there. With us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have missed so much mana. Practice Sigma. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Kasia's Welcome. Where's that to? What's on to? Um, whenever a creature, one or more creatures with mana value three or less, enter the battlefield, I draw a card. So yeah. tokens count once per turn. Once per. Turn. Yep. yep. In white, it's amazing. Good. If I did that. <laughs> I will replay Prosper and lose two, and then I will play Inventor's Fair, which will slowly help me regain life. <laughs> <laughs> At some point. At some, some point. point. <laughs> Go, Carlos. All right, end of turn. Sorry, end of your turn, yeah. Also, exile this two. Uh, lose two, reality shift Lisa. It's exiled, and you manifest the top card of your deck. And then what's manifest? Face down? Yep. Yeah, you can look at it if it's a creature. You can pay its converted mana cost at sorcery flip speed it. to flip it up. If it's anything else, you can. So do I just look at it and put it face down. Yep. Yeah. Otherwise, it just lets us a two-two for the rest of its life. Yeah, it's a two-two. If it's, any, if it's a creature, though, you can morph it up. Um, wow, well, I have a lot of rocks all of a sudden. Draw for turn. Let's pay a land. Well, I need that second Ipovians, you guys, because this is the worst hand ever. Oh, no, no, I'll pay two and play an Ice of Crown Scepter. Uh, what? Oh. It's not the combo. What are you? What are you in predict? Is it resolved? No response. Nothing. The worst one possible. Okay, denial. Oh, that's okay. Mm-hmm. I'm actually okay with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> New miss. Can't counter me. But this third spell is flashback. A echo of Aeons. Trigger and admit Tap for white. I'm gonna path to exile and admit uh, trigger and it again. Yeah. Okay. The colors will change and everyone's gonna be like, what happened? Path exile trigger. I will deal one damage to I will shoot Prosper for each time so far. So one to Prosper. From the path, From path the exile. exile trigger on Niv Mizzet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Arcane denial. Trigger Niv Mizzet. Countering you path to pay exile. Two to activate it. Path exile is countered. Trigger on the stack. Um one damage to Prosper. It goes to your graveyard. On your upkeep, you'll draw Just two. Just remember, yeah. yeah. And he'll so you'll get two, I'll get one. Now, uh, Echo Vaon's trigger. Just remind me right now. Well, so that's a third damage. Yeah. And a card. Any other responses before Echo Vaon's goes off? No more responses from me. Jonathan? Jeffrey? No. Okay. It's a very formal request there. <laughs> Shuffle up before we I go. I have no force of negation. So I believe how it resolves is I'm draw seven cards, but I can make seven different dim as it triggers. Should we kill Jeffrey? I'm so scary. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, it's Who fine. Won? We're playing high power. I'm sorry, Jeff. That's fine. Just... You are the weakest link. I'm, I'm dead. dead. Goodbye. Yeah. You can just set one more damage uh, else too. Yeah, I'll do it to I'll do the damage. Too. All right, take one. All, All right. right. Take another and crack my fetch. Sigil of Sleep on Niv Mizzet Payroom. What does that mean? So, uh, whenever enchanted creature deals damage to a player, return target creature that player controls to its owner's hand. So, it's pretty cool. I was thinking that you had to ping the creature, but I can still do the damage to the player and bounce one of their target creatures. That was my turn. Untap, upkeep. Why no foil? Um, draw off yeah. of Arcane Denial. Yep. You draw two, I'll draw one. And then I'll draw for two. Double checking no creatures out. Just... I got a 2-2. Two, two. So I'll 
do a damage to you and return that creature to your hand. Which you were looking, no. what the heck? I want to know! Uh, I didn't see it. That's funny. I wish it did. Oh, my, my upkeep, I do. You'll have to tell us what it was. I will show the camera. It's right there, not much. Is he playing us? I will play a Sea of Clouds to go with my Vault of Champions. Thank you for being my opponent since still having two. He's still got two. <laughs> I will tap a Swamp for a Soul Ring. Four. I want to play an Utter End on if miss it. Here we go. Heart of the Gods. Trigger an if it. Shoot you for one. Okay, he does. All right. Boss battle defeated. I will tap for Black on this Vault of Champions. And tap a blue here. I'm gonna play Knight's Whisper. I'm gonna draw cards. two cards and lose two life. One, two, and one lose two life. That might be the game. Yeah, huh? Because all the like a five five flyer. Mother of Ruin. Life Oh, um, what's up, mom? Oh. Swift foot boots. Oh. Go to attach swift foot has turn. Untap. Roll for crypts. Take damage. Providence. It's, he deserved to take it, the damage. It, meant, it, was meant to be. it was meant to be. I should have double checked, but yeah. It's it's close. Close. Go with a Phyrexian altar. Or one big vampire. Which you're now here. Oh, one oh, big vampire. Oh, no. Make a vampire. And Takesha's welcome draws me a card. Done. And then I'll scry. You think I would have done something to Nivis it if I could? Go ahead, Carlos. Yeah. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> Island for turn. Yeah, I can't really do anything about that. Great! <laughs> That's why I did it! You can play another kill thing. I'll double kill your thing. <clears throat> Gorgon flail. I'll pass. Draw. Swamp. Tap two swamps. I just have to hope Bryce or can or handle them better. Game two. Sign in blood. To myself, was two. Uh, something for one. Night Whisper and Sign in blood. Yeah. <laughs> We're digging! That's what I'm doing. He's digging. I'll tap this. Soul ring for one of the third path destroying. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. In, in response to Lauren, can you read the card for me? Yes, yeah, so it's vigilance. When Lauren of the third pass enters the battlefield, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment. Then it has the ability of tap you and target opponent each draw a card. That was a cool card. It's really cool. Uh, in response to Lauren, I'll sack vampire token. And I will black their room. Rooms will go bye bye. Super dead. Oh yeah, yeah. Sparks yeah. altar. Super dead. Six. Oh. You can catch a commander? Um, Road off Dusk. Oh, what is this card? What does that do? So it's a flying it's death a touch lifelink. Yeah, it's a lot of text. When you gain life, <laughs> Rudolph gains indestructible until end of turn. Cool. Okay. And then at the beginning of your end step, you may pay one and hybrid white black. When you do, return target creature with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. Very nice. But you've gained two life. But he does not have I two. I kept Mother of Ruins. Do you have two mana? Yep. Oh, yeah. you do. Okay, cool. Which I will go to my end step, and I will pay the two, bring Mother back, and it's your turn. <clears throat> Roll for crypt. Oh, baby! <laughs> this is the most important part. Oh. Mm, safe. All right. Draw. Pay seven, cast Vishkal Blood Arbiter. Five, five, flying lifelink. I can sack a creature to put X counters on Vishkal where X is that creature's power. And then I can remove all the plus one, plus one counters on him to give target creature minus one, <coughs> minus one for each counter removed this way. So trigger times. So I'm gonna do Path of Ancestry Scry first. Uh -huh. I'm going to get a vampire token. Vampire token will draw me this card with welcome. Now Vishkal resolves. Agadim, the Undercity, tapped, because I need those three life. I'm gonna pay two for a Orzhov Signet. And then I will pay three for Stromkirk Captain. First strike, other vampires I control get plus one, plus one in first strike. Okay. And get a token. Resolves. Sacrifice to put two plus one, plus one counters on Bishkal. And each player sacrifices a creature. Is or it two? Oh, because of the pump. Yeah. Let us go to combat. And I will attack. Coming at Carlos for six. Second time in one game. What is it? Cyclone Grip. Uh, uh, uh. Cyclone Grip. You're a bad person. I know. You're a bad person. Hold on. I'm going to see if there's anything worth doing. You can make his stuff go to graveyard instead of two. I think I'm going to. I'm going to remove the counters to give Lauren minus two, minus two. Well, I could destroy something on him. I could get rid of the Isochron Scepter. I don't think you're going to. 
I will <laughs> get rid of Isochron Scepter if you let it go to my hand. Okay, I'll sacrifice Vampire Token and you sack a creature. Alright. End of your word. I'll draw a card. Oh, I am doing something in a turn, sorry. I am making two little 1-1 one, one spirit dies. So Kenzan, Crucible of Defiance. We'll play a mountain, slant for turn. He costs 12 now. He costs 12 now. 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 mana, Nimitz head. Double the casting cost. Let's put a Basilisk collar on the visit. Gain some life. Let's attack to it, John, before we get some creatures out there. Seven. Pass turn. On tap, upkeep, gain two. You yeah. should be dead by now. He should be dead by now. Who? You. you. Why? Because <laughs> you've gained, just you've gained probably 20 life. I will play in his land. One for a soul ring. I can't stoop. Tap the soul ring for two. Play another white. Play Bullis Citadel. Let's try an arcane to now that one. <laughs> Deal damage to John and I'll gain life. It's the worst. Mm-hmm. Then I'm a man of against. my word. I'll tap here. On your turn, you'll on your turn you will draw two and I will draw one. Play the Lorne of the third pass. And Lorne will be killed at that time. <laughs> do you want me to still do Ice Crown Scepter yeah. or Basketless Crawler? No, Scepter. Scepter? Swift foot boots. <laughs> Quip shoes. Quip shoes. Are you going to draw? Are you going to let me draw? I'll uh, take you for two. Me? <laughs> for real? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at that crypt. Look at that crypt. Look it's at my right. hand. Oh, I'm taking it. the crypt. It's getting cast next turn. Now. You're Wait. not casting. Crypt. Yes, I am. Oh. It's free mana. <laughs> I, I play to win. My turn. Pass the turn, yeah. All right. Draw. All right, you guys do your thing. You draw two, I draw one. Deal damage to you. Jonathan. Going for it. Crypt. Crypt. <laughs> Crypt at three, baby. Crypt, crypt. at three. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go with Stormcurt Captain. Okay, first striking. First strike and get a vampire. Three, four. I cast New Blood, targeting Niv Mizzet. Is this an instant I, or a sorcery? It's a sorcery. And I'm going to tap my vampire token to help oh, cast read it. Read that for me. As an additional cost to cast New Blood, tap an untapped vampire you control. Whoop. Gain control of target creature. Whoop. Change the text of that creature by replacing all instances of one creature type with vampire. Okay, trigger new visits. Yeah. Draw a card. Deal damage to John to his face. Not a big difference between two and three, right? <laughs> <laughs> then there is because I will then cast this little old opt. Oh, are you gonna kill me? Yeah. Um, well, that's poor. Sh- <laughs> uh, trigger <laughs> uh, draw a card. All right, shoot you for one. Yeah, uh, draw a card of thoughts. Shoot you for one. Man, your spell was puzzles. You know what you seven, could have done? You I mean, could have tapped and drawn. You could have tapped and drawn, and make him draw a card, and you could still draw a card, and it wouldn't matter what he draws because he's oh, dead. Can I do that in response to your thing? Or no? Sure, sure. <laughs> so we'll draw. Yeah, I draw a command tower. Draw for turn. I think I've missed so many of those. What? I'm sorry, chat. Every single freaking draw for my turn to deal damage trigger. Yeah. I think you did too. Except for the last one of the game, okay? Deal one. Play a land for turn. And you gain a life because basketball's taller. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Bryce is doing. Did he just build a Kaza? Yeah, he built a Kaza. I'm going to equip a dude. So I take eight. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's memory jar. One, two, three, four, Yeah, you five. should be good. So I'm going to crack it. Um, seven damage to your face. When I draw these seven cards. I got you. You gain seven life. You go up to 20. There we go. Who's the life gain deck now? I'll play a Lotus Petal, and I'll play a Curiosity. Eventually. And I'll play a Winds of Change to just... Oh, there you go. That's it. That's Winds of Change. We'll do it. That's it. Well, this was not unexpected for me. I thought niv Visit was one of the big contenders for this tournament and didn't prove us wrong. How about you at home? What do you think about our game today? If you're enjoying the kingdom, consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Also, we do have a great group of patrons, and I'd love to see you over there, so check it out at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. Our biggest shout out to our fellow kings, Jordan Ritchie and Worthy Glover. You both rule. A big thank you to our Samurai patrons, Christian Ladores, LDAP, Chris Crowley, 
Jason Gardner, Matias Salazar, and Morton Christensen. You are all the pillars of kingdoms. Thanks to our knights for keeping the kingdom safe, and remember everyone, keep it nerdy.